Hi, I'm Kevin. At Pinterest, we found that the best performing pins have three things in common. They are beautiful, interesting, and actionable. In this video, I'll teach you how to make your pins look their best, write attention-grabbing descriptions, and help people turn pinning into doing. First, make your pins tall, not wide. Pinterest shows pins in columns, so tall pins look better. This is especially important on phones, which is where most people use Pinterest. Try using a 2 to 3 to 1 to 3.5 aspect ratio. Second, create detailed, thoughtful descriptions. When a pin catches someone's eye, they'll likely look at the description for more information. The more helpful details and keywords there are, the more likely your pin will resonate with people and show up in search results. So don't be afraid to make your descriptions a couple sentences long. In your description, you'll also want to tell people why your pin matters. If it's an easy recipe or a beautiful skirt, let them know. Positive sentiment goes a long way in showing people how a pin from your business can help them in their lives. Third, try to give pinners something to do. Remember, people use Pinterest as a tool to discover and do things. So if there's an action people can take, let them know in the description and make sure the pin links somewhere useful. For example, a product pin should go to the site where you can buy it. If it's a how-to pin, make it obvious that it'll help people do something. Try listing directions in the description, using keywords like how-to or linking to a tutorial. You can even use three or four images within one pin to show step-by-step -step instructions. Finally, keep in mind that while these tips may give you a sense for what successful pins look like, the most important thing is to figure out what content you should pin. For that, take a look at our Art of Making Boards video. And thanks for watching.